Alrighty, everyone. We've got an interesting video today. Oh, crap. Uh, hang on. There's a TV controller and... Right. Can you stop? There's only one thing on YouTube that I know everybody It's fake videos like this one. Uh, yes. If you stuff like that too, then this video is perfect for you. Detective DJ is back once again. Unfortunately, these kind of videos are meant to clickbait children. So basically, they get millions and millions and millions of views every day. Just because of how they fucking... You want to know something? They don't even tag their videos correctly. They just title their video the most shittiest... Like, I dated Elmo at 3am while fucking, fucking a plushie. That's literally how they would title their videos. They do not give a fuck. And they would get millions of views. <clears throat> right. Can I... And ready to solve another case. Uh, right. Introducing the first... Yep. Remember about three months ago when I made the girl version of Morgan's video? Well, I just found out something weird. In that video, we showed three girls, right? And one of them was Nikki Lane. And I just found out that her boyfriend makes fake videos just like she does. They might be one of the worst couples on YouTube. So basically, they're both fake fucking clowns. He looks like a drug addict. She looks like... I'm not going to say it because I, YouTube will send me to the stratosphere for making up false claims. But she looks... Okay. It's not because she's wearing piercings. Piercings freak me out because of how they are. Why is she, caress Why is she caressing his ear? I have several questions. But yeah, basically, I just don't like piercings because... If you get a piercing on your tongue or in your nose or fucking on your eyebrows, I'm sorry, I am just going to not be able to throw up, help, help myself from throwing up because that is disgusting. Apologies to any of my viewers out there who do have piercings in those locations. I am very sorry. It's just piercings, in my opinion, unless they're in your ear. Yeah, that's it. Unless they're in your ear, you're fine. I, it's partly a, a body reaction that just, ugh. And his name is Arcade Criminals. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've been seeing this dude everywhere. I was wondering why all of you in my comments were begging and begging for me to make a video on him. I took one look, just one look at his channel, and I understood right away what I needed to oh do. Oh, my this gosh. Is cringe. So the first contestant in the God of Fake Videos competition is Arcade Cranium. Excuse me, everyone, while I cringe to the fifth dimension. Ah! I generally, I'm not even kidding. I just want to generally throw myself off a cliff. No! Just no, no. If... Imagine, imagine that kid's, that person's mum. Imagine that person's mum. She must have game ended herself with a 44 Magnum after seeing one of his videos. That, how did, how do you respond to something like that? You're a parent. You're very proud of your son, your son or daughter. You watch their YouTube shit. And you watch their YouTube and then you just see that sort of type. What do you do? Do you just generally go to him about that or just let him fall down the spiral because there's nothing stopping him? I just generally game end them. I shoot him with a gun and then I shoot Slowly myself. On this channel, we see the typical fake video clickbaiter stuff. We see drones, haunted places, Among Us imposters, and you can't forget the 3 a.m. videos. They have a secret love for Chuck E. Cheese because like every single video is at Chuck E. Cheese's. 
Now, while I was scrolling on his channel, I saw something I had to show you. Chuck E. Cheese stole my car at 3 a.m. This is the perfect video for us to laugh at together. Chuck E. Cheese is in my car right now. Well, the normal clickbaity videos that I used to look, uh, they wouldn't even, like, show the shit at, um... They wouldn't uh, even show anything, like, related to what the comment was. So that... So... I guess I'd have to um, congratulate this retard on him actually having some sort of non clickbaity title. So, yes, I'm pissed off at him for making such shite, but I'm also happy because he didn't do the typical sh shit that clickbaiters do. What am I doing? I'm falling down the rabbit hole. This video will not be titled. <laughs> Brain, fun I haven't even watched fucking two minutes and I'm already losing my brain cells. This is beyond stupid. He's driving off right now. On today's video, we're going to unmask Chuck E. Cheese. Once and for all, we're gonna take and I'm his going to pull head off and see what's underneath. And I'm going to grab an AK-47 and shoot you until you die. Guess what? You won't come back! Fucking... That big head in a place. What's the point of doing that? You're gonna go up to a random worker in the costume and then rip his head off. You know, when we ring that doorbell over there, he appears. So come on, Nicole, we're gonna ring... That's that how a doorbell works, you dumbass. We're going to punch him in the head, and then we're gonna take his freaking head off. Yeah. I'm done! That's just, um... I'm going to punch him in the head. So let's just add aggravated assault on top of the fact that he's going to... Yeah, okay, so this guy is pretty shit. That is not what I pressed. What the fuck? Hang on, technical technical difficulties, everyone. Uh, I had it when the... Uh... <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's even worse. Instead of just taking the costume off the worker... He's planning on punching the worker first. So before we ring that aggravated door, assault. Right now, I need everyone to like this video, okay? If you do not like this Wait, are you telling me everyone that if I aggravate if I commit a if I commit um assault on somebody, I'll get um, several million views. Sign me the fuck up. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to aggravate. I'm not just going to walk up to some random uh, homeless person, punch him in the face, and just go like and subscribe, motherfucker. I'm not that type of person, and in fact, I'd most probably give the homeless person a couple of quid. Because, well, it depends. If the homeless person is wearing, like, those uh, kind of... Because homeless people are kind of a weird case, because there are some homeless people that... <clears throat> there are some homeless people that are generally homeless and want to have a home... And if they get offered a job, they'll fucking take it. And then there's the homeless people that pretend to be homeless just to get money so they don't have to get a job. If <clears throat> if we're talking about the uh, homeless people that are actually homeless and need a, that want a job, then I'd offer them some money. But if they're, they're the other one, then no. <clears throat> this video, these snakes will come to your bed. That's a King Cobra. That is a King Cobra. Do you not know your snakes, mate? Yeah, or it could be a forest cobra, I'm not sure. Okay, let's be honest here. Who in the world would fall for this old trick? No! God, please, no! 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 Ah, uh, dislike counter. Just before you were, um... <clears throat> removed. And what is this? Oh, come on. This came out a year... A year ago. God, I miss my account. <clears throat> no! What's wrong with people on YouTube these days? You would think, dude. Oh my god! What? That is... Ah, uh, yes. Acting. I'm actually... I, I do not care. I'm committing arson. I I'm going to find their house and burn it. Edward! What? Edward! Oh. oh no! It's Chucky the fucking cheese! Charles Entertainment Cheese the Third. Oh my god. How did 
you get in my car? Better yet, what the fuck are you doing? Why is your car not on? Yeah, we have eyes. What? Chuck E. Cheese drives off with his car, and then he's like, Come back tomorrow for part two. I thought you were gonna punch him and take his mask off, and how in the world are you gonna get home if he just took your car? But guess what? It doesn't end there. Chuck E. Cheese wasn't the only person who stole his car. Barney and Elmo both took his car too. Like, geez, bro, lock your doors or something. Cutting open Haunted Among Us Imposter at 3 a.m. Excuse me, what? What? That's what I mean, you guys. What? He's doing it. Look. That's what I mean, you guys. Oh, my God. He does that. He'll move randomly on his own, and it does not make sense because it's a freaking... You game. don't make That's sense. Explain. Open. And look what he does. He <laughs> eats my food. You're cutting him open because he's hungry? That's not nice. Oh my god! god. Can somebody can somebody just kill him? I am going to stab this fucker in the eyes. I don't care if I go to jail. This this fucker is <sighs> Morgan uh, sent me a link to uh the uh, DJ Cook guy uh, saying that he uh, he basically did this video to try and find the f three worst YouTubers, like he said, and then uh, the DJ Cook guy then emailed uh, the three, uh, well, the worst actual YouTuber out of the three of them, and then he, yeah. In my opinion. If you're just going to clickbait your videos just to get uh, views, you're fucking sad and I hope you fall off a cliff. Or a car crashes into you and makes you fall off a cliff. Either would be better for it, really. I mean, I'm not saying that I haven't done some seriously questionable shit, but I don't do shit like this. Watch Among Us. I'm really thinking it's just a toy. It's just a toy. But it's moving on its own. It's not our imagination. There's no way. It's definitely not you editing the video so it looks like it's me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm really losing faith in the world. It. Like first we had the Microsoft ban wave of 2022, and before this we have clickbaity retards. And this is only just it's the first funny. YouTuber, it's remember? Comedy. Like, it's so bad that it's getting to the point where it's funny. There's something in here, dude. There's something in here. Yeah, it's called what stuffing, dip ass. I don't know. What is it? I don't... Let me see. <gasps> what is that? My name's Jeff. It's... It's a toilet roll, you dumbass. <sighs> this is only the first YouTuber and already I want to shoot people. What is that? You guys. My name Jeff. Oh my god, is that blood? Nice. There's a freaking bone inside of him. Bro, are you serious? You can tell that he made that up on the spot. It's a toilet paper roll with ketchup on it. It's actually pizza sauce. You guys, there's a battery in here. Yeah, we have eyes. I'm staining my floor. Oh my god, this is so Oh no, crazy. my bit. There's more blood in here. Real blood? I. What? No, it's what? okay, Luke. There's it's okay. What keep your head in, keep on? your sanity. You have no sanity, but keep the remainder of it. I mean, it makes sense, because you know how they go into an electrical room? Yeah. Maybe he's trying to, like, do sabotage. Yeah, he's trying to do a task. Did he really just say, oh my gosh, there was a battery in there, he was trying to do a task? Seriously? Mm. And then once he cut the imposter open, the screen said... Victory, and then he was like, We beat the imposters, you guys. Uh, okay, that's a weird video. Now, we all know, I mean, it's not too bad, was super fake, and he might just be the god of fake videos, but don't. Well, let me explain what I mean by that. The video 
in some weird, demented, retarded way made sense. Like, but at the same time, it just made my brain want to kill myself. It. <sighs> I pride myself on being realistic, and realistically speaking, I want to shoot somebody. Preferably this. Re I look away for five seconds, and why is Jesus? I'm not even gonna ask. We even think that because we have two other YouTubers who are just as bad, if not worse than him. We're gonna switch it up to our second YouTuber. This guy might just be worse than RK Craniacs. Oh, yippee. It's just like revisiting an old friend. I mean, my friend Jester has been in a video before, but his content is going downhill rapidly. The amount of fake videos he's making is crazy. We have to check these things out. Do not order Minecraft Happy Meal from McDonald's at 3 a.m. I'm pretty sure they. I've been to McDonald's. They don't sell Minecraft. Like those are official Minecraft figures. They do not sell those. It never came out with a Minecraft Happy Meal, but I'm interested to see what happens in this video. With the recent boom in Minecraft content being put out, the game is being played at an all-time high. And due to its newfound popularity, McDonald's decided to collaborate with Minecraft. What he meant? I haven't seen anything like that, dumbass. I mean... I haven't left this room in a couple of months. Well, that's a lie. I haven't left this in a couple of hours, actually, because I went to uh, Chatham Historical Dockyard yesterday, which everyone saw because it's on my channel. Um, yeah. To say was because <clears throat> Minecraft gets a lot of views on YouTube, I'm going to make a crappy video about it, and hopefully I get a lot of views from little kids and a lot of money. Hello? Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Hi, uh, do you guys have the new uh, limited edition Minecraft Happy Meals? Um, yeah we do. They do. Um, okay, I I'd like one of each of them. You know what happens when you order all three, right? You're not supposed to say, oh, oh, okay. Uh, Would you like anything else? They literally edited the voice. They made it seem like they were at the drive-thru, but they edited that in. So after they get home, they sit down and they start opening up their Happy Meals. I'm going to shoot myself. Yay! Lindo, not burning, but it's coming from the Uh, one million likes on this video and I'll record myself putting a bullet in my head. How about that? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, wait, look, look, look. There's like charring on it, on the inside. That's what just the that? packaging. Oh my god. Wait, what the heck, bro? Where's the food? It exploded! Wait. You're telling me a creeper toy blew up your whole Happy Meal? Uh, okay. Kill me. And then all of a sudden they start to get super scared when they realize that Steve is staring out of the window. He's just like, like why? What could he look, possibly look? He's like staring like outside, like is there... What? Is there what? Like a light? Like it's literally lights from somebody's house. What are you doing here? Hello, what are you doing? Bro, he's got a sword in his hand. Why is he at our house? You need to leave, man. Hey. You're... You can't be... You're in America. Why aren't you grabbing your fucking assault rifle? This is fucking America. Jesus. Be here, okay? You gotta get out of here, Steve. Remember, guys, he's going to run towards him at the mock point. can't be here, Steve. What? What? That was shit. That was the worst editing I've ever seen. How how is this re this retard kind of uh, nah? This guy's got to be living in his parents' house. There's no way, no way he was able to afford this. Uh, kill me. What the fuck? Oh. How have we got to this point in human history? This is dangerous, man. What the hell's going on? Oh, 
Yeah, man, I think it's a great idea to just sit back and watch your friend get hit with a sword. Like, he's just sitting back there and letting it happen, not even trying to help him. And then the rest of the video, he just runs away from his house and leaves all of those people in his house. Like, why would you leave your house with people in it in the middle of the night? Do not play dark web potion roulette at 3 a.m. That title just screams fake to me. So basically, they're going to spin a wheel, and whatever potion it lands on, they have to take that potion. I've seen so many of these potion videos from fake YouTubers. Like, I've seen strength potions, sonic potions, just stuff like that. So I'm excited to see what potions they have, and what potions they lie about. Over the last three years, I have experienced a dozen different potions from the dark web. Ranging from potions that give superpowers, to potions that can clone animals and humans, to now, most recently, potions that can completely transform who you are as a person. So, you may be thinking, so what potions exactly are we, uh, we working with here today? Basically, I went into my drawer full of different potions that I bought off the dark web, and I took off all of the labels and made sure to put them in a special pack. I think what he meant to say was, I went into my refrigerator, I grabbed all the juices that I bought from the gas station, ripped off the label so nobody could tell that it was from the gas station, and we're all gonna act like they were potions. So they start to spin the wheel and get their potions. One guy gets a green potion, Jester gets a red potion, and he's really nervous about it, and then the other guy got a pink potion. I wanna see what happens. Why does he have a YouTube play button? Why does he have a YouTube block but mm. retards like this guy get YouTube at play buttons because they fucking get it. Uh kill me. Seriously, why do retards of YouTube and Twitch or whatever get fucking play buttons? Because they <laughs> It's because they're monetizing, they're earning YouTube money, making them go yee. What happens when they drink these? What are they gonna turn into? <clears throat> Cheers! Cheers! Like several people still need YouTube play buttons because the amount of subscribers. Ooh. Mm. Bro, that was like a metallic taste. Yeah, I've heard that apple juice tastes like that sometimes. Where are you going? Did you just? Guys, why is he going in the closet? Hello? Dude. Because he wants to kill himself. Oh my gosh, his friend turned into a vacuum cleaner. What? Where, where the heck did he go? What the? Yo! Wait. No. Slenderman potion? Shoot. His friend really just drank some grapefruit juice and then turned into Slenderman. Yo! Wait. No. Slenderman potion? <laughs> That was fucking brilliant. Yo, you just you in there? Wait. Oh my god, he transformed into Pennywise. The cringe just keeps going. Uh. For the next five minutes in the video, his two friends just start fighting and chasing him in their costumes. But why has he not changed into something? He had a potion too, I thought. Ooh. Finally, he turns into something, and I have no idea what that is, the but then he starts to talk with his friends. Oh. Surprise, Pennywise! You want it fun, huh? I'll show you- I'm going to actually- to okay, right. Rain so stay with me in here, right. <sighs> I'm, I, I can't actually, I'm not even... <clears throat> and the rest of the video is literally them fighting in their costumes. Remember, these are grown men in costumes fake punching each other for little kids to watch on YouTube. Sounds weird, right? Every little thing about that video was fake. The potions, the costumes, the fighting, just all of it. But is this more fake than our third and final YouTuber? And will this last YouTuber be the <clears throat> fakest of them all and win the stinky and slimy trophy? I'm gonna be honest, I had so many YouTubers I could put in at this final spot. After I watched over 200 <coughs> fake videos for this video, I decided to put somebody in here who is extremely fake, and somebody that I've never heard of, and I'm sure you've never heard of him too, and that's what makes it even better. Scrolling down his channel is completely cringe. Don't order Among Us Happy Meal at 3am. Cutting open Haunted Barney Doll.
Why is it that all these people that make these fucking fakey clickbait 3am videos, they're fucking foreign? I literally just want to scream the most racial slurs I can think of and just... <sighs> hey mum! You're gonna want to look at this! You just know that this dude is fake. Who could the final YouTuber be in this video? His name is Plasmonix. I have no idea who this guy is. I just know that he makes some pretty messed up videos. And in these videos, it's normally him and his younger brother. That's just great. You gotta teach him when they're young how to be a fake YouTuber. And speak of the devil, here's a video with his little brother that looks so, 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 so bad. Calling our evil twins on FaceTime at 3am. They broke into my house. And I was looking in the comments. And every single comment is by a little kid. Do these kids not realize that this is fake? I mean, hopefully he responds. Because fit, I mean, kids are stupid. Just be completely ruined. Yeah. Guys, Mom, right are you now. aware of... Shh, shh, are you aware of the clickbait of YouTube? <sighs> yeah. So oh, funny. God, everyone. My mum knows. Um, is it all right if I want to uh, all go to their houses and? But what's wrong with burning down their houses and their faces? No, seriously, half these YouTubers make me want to put a bullet in their face. He said yes, ha ha. What the? Bro, Why are you laughing? dude, I don't know. Bro, this is creepy oh though. Dude, I felt sorry for the kids that watched this. Said, yes, ha ha. That's so creepy, dude. Um, yeah, it, it has been a while. Hold it. Hold it right there, Mike. My, my detective senses are tingling. I can see how this is fake. Earlier in the video, when he was trying to FaceTime his brother's evil twin, and I didn't show it, but on his small side of the screen, you could see the camera and the ring light, you know what I mean? But in this clip, you just see a black screen where the camera and ring light should be. So this leads me to believe that he just FaceTimed his brother, his brother faced the phone on the ground, and then they screen recorded it. You might have fooled like 1,000 kids that are in the comments, but you can't fool me in the cleanup YouTube game. Oh my god. Bro, he said he'll be there soon. Oh my, bro, you gotta, you gotta come over here. Oh my god. Dude, dude, dude. We gotta make sure the front door's locked, yo, dude. His brother is not very good at acting. Staring nope. at the camera, smiling. Like, if somebody evil was saying that they were on the way to my house, I wouldn't be smiling. All of a sudden, their evil twins came over and got into the house. Shh, we're gonna be quiet. Okay, bro, I'm saying we're going to end me oh, now. <laughs> there is no. <laughs> there is no way that these people, like, live in their own homes. Like, they must be living in their parents' house. There is no way. And I, I wonder how much uh, their parents beat them every day. Like, there's, there must be, they must be beaten like every fucking night. Cause this is beyond stupid. And here's how they try to trick the evil twins. All right, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Bro, let's go to the park. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, hide over here. Hide over here. Bro, he might come running. Your brother is going to get a death cold. He might come running this way any second. Wait, bro, I hear their footsteps. I hear their footsteps. Are you serious? This dude was like, I hear their footsteps. I hear their footsteps. And they were right next to them. They would have heard you. If you thought that was bad, just look at this. Do not FaceTime Patrick Star at 3 a.m. Question now, how did they pull that trick off where they just... Oh, fuck, yeah, okay, no. They had a speaker next to them. Uh, next to the phone and then they just went round. He yep, okay. In this video, I tried to get my Apple Watch back by FaceTiming Patrick Star and Patrick Star broke into my house in real life. This was absolutely... <laughs> Are we all saying this correctly? A Patrick Star stuffed animal broke into your house? A stuffed animal broke into your house? This is gonna be bad. And does this guy love when people break into his house or what? Like, the dude has made 176,812 videos of stuff breaking into his house. And yeah, I mean stuff. Not even people. Stuffed animals. Uh, I can explain. So here he is, FaceTiming Patrick Star, trying to get his Apple Watch back. Because that definitely makes sense. We are about to FaceTime Patrick Star. So guys, and I'm right about to drop kick you FaceTime and your parents to the abortion clinic. And we are currently bringing up Patrick, so hopefully he answers. I mean, he's the one. 
Time to build a time machine and go back in time and end the human race before it exists because Jesus Christ. I'm generally going to fight these people's parents and tell them your son is sadistic. Which wanted to call me, so he should be answering any time. Shoot, no way. Guys, he answered. Guys, this is Patrick. Yo, wait, Patrick. So the SpongeBob doll, where is it a doll? Is it actually SpongeBob? Like, what is it? It's a dark web creation. I don't know what type of version of FaceTime he's using where it doesn't show his camera. It's literally just a video on his phone unless he's got FaceTime 1.0. All right, guys. So I just made a deal with Patrick Starr saying that if I let the doll free... And I made a deal with Satan to fucking put up with... Uh... Fuck, the joke just got ruined. Hang on. Um, I died and went to heaven and God said, nah, so I have to stay here. Uh... He apparently Kill like me. a dark web doll that Spongebob is able to control and he said that if I let the doll free that he'll give me my Apple Watch back. I feel like I'm being set up here. Like this, this doesn't seem right. Some I feel like you're a dumbass and you should go fall down a well. I think Fishy is definitely good. Yeah, um, your diet choices. God, I just feel Skanky yeah, fuck. he's right. Something fishy is going on. A grown man is talking to stuffed animals on the internet. Pretty weird, right? Don't exactly see anyone. You know, Patrick Starr is pretty short, so, like, might not even be visible through the people, you know? I'm just gonna open the door. It's a stuffed animal. They're normally not that big. Patrick? Patrick Unless you have the fucking inflatable ones. Patrick, you out here? Hello? Anyone? Because my Apple Watch is... What the heck is going on? Yo, Patrick? You're about to die. That's what's right going on. Dress, so, is he in the bushes somewhere? Guys, what the heck? Patrick? Imagine you're just going for a daily run in the neighborhood, and then there's a random dude looking in the bushes saying, Patrick, Patrick, where are you? Oh my gosh, this is the fakest part of the video. What the? Guys, Patrick, what are you doing inside my house? Where is SpongeBob? Yo, I'll, okay, okay, I, I can give you the doll. Just give me my Apple Watch back. Yo, I, I don't want to have yep, to do this. Yeah, it's fat, it's... Dude. The rest of the video, he literally just throws a backpack outside, Patrick runs outside, gets the backpack, and that's all. This was a horrible video. We all know that this is fake, right? Well, not everyone knows that it's fake, because there's people in his comment section who believe it. Spogon Bob and Parik Star. Someone replied to that and said, Star Patrick, Patrick Star. How about this one? A kid in his comments. I swear kids it to the, nowadays do not understand what the fuck fake means, and who gave a kid a YouTube... Oh wow, my grammar just. I literally heard that sentence, and now my grammar's gone to. F Meh! Wankers. Said, I don't know numbers. Patrick Starr and SpongeBob SquarePants. And then a random kid replied to that and said, This photo is my mom, okay? Like what? I get that it's kids, but what are they even talking about? Is this Plasmonics dude using bots in his comment section? Because those comments didn't make any sense. We've looked at three of the most fake YouTubers, and I've made my decision on who the god of fake videos truly is, and who will win the slimy, stinky, and gross trophy I found outside my house. It's time to complete my case and solve this mystery. So, is the god of fake videos all equally shit. with his crazy <clears throat> acting and super weird video ideas? Like, seriously, cutting open an Among Us doll? Oh, Barney stole your car? Like what? Or is it Jester with his crazy fake potion drinking videos where they literally turn into animals? Or is it Plasmonix, the guy who is in love with people breaking into his house? The god of fake videos is... All of them. Plasmonix. He literally has a series of stuffed animals breaking into his house. I don't need to say anything else. But here you go, Plasmonix. Here is your awesome trophy. Congratulations on being a fake YouTuber. I hope one day YouTube can help us out and get you an even better trophy. A ban button. You can watch another video on the screen right now to keep helping me clean up YouTube. I thought, nah, I thought that uh, Morgan said that, um, <clears throat> well, this is fun, not, I want to now go jump off a cliff and commit suicide, maybe to these people before I die, I don't know, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, I didn't, I want to now throw myself off a cliff, I know, I've already said that, uh, 
can I please get at least one like in the video on this video to make my sanity somewhat return? It's okay if you don't, but Jesus fucking Christ. Also, I guess this counted as a rant video, so Jake, um, here's your rant video.